Three words I would use to describe serenity is caring, goofy, and beautiful. Three words for you, I'm going to go with smart. Got to be incredibly smart to carry the load you do in college and be as good as you are at dive board and ping pong and, and all those other college uh, requirements. Uh, considerate, very kind and considerate young lady, and beautiful. You're just a beautiful person. I mean, beyond being very pretty, you're very beautiful in the heart and the way you think of people, and I just love you to pieces. We wanted to say that uh, we love you very much, and we think that uh, you are one of the best granddaughters anyone could ever have, and you are very considerate, compassionate, and caring. Well, hello there, pretty serenity. This is Grandpa Big Bob. And as you can see, I'm wearing my Corona Cure hat. So you're safe, even at six feet. But the three things that I remember about you the most, and there are a whole bunch of them, you're pretty, you're smart, and you're kind to everyone. The three words that I would use to describe you are smart, loving, and very beautiful. Three words I would use to describe serenity would be kind, loving, and generous. Oh, and a fourth would be goofy. Three words I would use to describe serenity. Kind, and selfless, and a little bit goofy. Nice, funny, and cool. The first one would be goofy because you're just goofy and I love it. And I love that we can have fun together and be silly and Next three are kind of related, so I'm going to say they're two, my second word, uh, would be wise, perceptive, and insightful because you just, you always seem to get it. We can talk about anything and no matter what age you're talking to, you are there, you're related, you're in it, and you're always super perceptive. The third one is hard for me to decide between, so I'm going to say two. Um, you're so kind and compassionate and you just care about keep people and animals and you're determined and that I really appreciate about you that you set your mind to something and you really go after it. Three words to describe serenity. Um, motivated, definitely my uh, personal favorite. Um, compassionate and surprisingly protective. <laughs> okay, so three words I use to describe you would be incredibly sweet, kind, and a little bit of crazy. Three words I would use to describe serenity. Um, that's probably, she's very caring, she's selfless, and she's super motivated. Um, for example, Cerny wants to work with children with disabilities. That's gonna need a caring, selfless, and motivated person. Um, she's always the person that you call when you need help. She's gonna drop everything to come help you. I've known her to answer my FaceTime calls when she's busy doing something else just because I need somebody to talk to. And she's just super caring for her friends and family. Always puts them first. Um, lastly, she's super motivated because she's been talking about college since she was, we were in elementary school. I wasn't even thinking about it at the time, but you know, she's always pushed me. Number one, compassionate. Um, you treat everybody like they're your family, whether they are or aren't, and it doesn't really seem to make a difference to you. Number two, ambitious. That one's pretty obvious. I mean, you have some really high hopes and you're gonna get stuff done. And then my third one is charming because I don't know anybody that doesn't just automatically have a click and attraction to you when they meet you. You're just able to draw people in. And I think it goes with the compassionate, you know? It's that ability to relate to everybody on whatever level it may be. You'll find something that you guys have in common. Three words that I would use to describe Serenity are confident, passionate, and radiant. Serenity is super confident from the way she holds herself to the way she stands up for herself. I really respect that about her. She's super passionate because in everything she does, she gives 110%, whether that's 
her friendships, her work, her school. It's just full throttle ahead. That's pretty inspiring. I would also say she's super radiant. Like, has she ever walked into a room and not brightened it up just by her smile, her amazing personality? I don't think she's ever failed to do that, so. My favorite memory of Serenity is when she was a baby, um, probably about two or three years old. She used to like to fall asleep on my chest and she would ask me to tickle her feet. Um, one of my favorite memories is one time when um, Serenity's mom was coming home and she wanted to surprise her by making cupcakes for her for her birthday. And so her and her friends took on a really big project of making a few different kinds of cupcakes with piping and everything and they ran into a little a few snags and she came over and asked me for help and I got to help them. When you babysat us and played with us. And one of my favorite memories with you is when we ate the pumpkin pie back in Las Cruces, New Mexico and we sat down and we got a fork and ice cream and ate it all up and we kept it a secret from Grandpa Jimmy and everybody. That was my favorite uh, uh, memory of you. Favorite memories got to be our boat trips, wakeboarding, tubing. Uh, I hate tubing. And just hanging out on the water. One of my favorite memories of you is when I used to drive you all over the place. Camarillo, baseball games, piano, pick you up at school and tell you stories about my police adventures. <laughs> You remember that, don't you? And one of the things I remember the most is when you gave me that nice framed ode that said you thought that I was really great grandpa and that you loved all the stories that I told you. My favorite one, I think of all time, would be uh, the first time that we watched Funny Girl together. That was great. And considering that we had so much junk food, I'm surprised we even paid attention to the movie, but we did, and we watched it many more times together, but that's my favorite memory. Ben and I was cracking a couple beers in the kitchen, and uh, we talked for about two hours, and it, it really, you know, made me realize that um, not only do I love her because she's my daughter, but I really like her, I like the person that she is. Um, she's fun to hang around with, And I think one of my favorites still is that time, we talk about it a lot, that we were at my dad's and I went to jump over you for God knows what reason and kicked you in the face wearing my strappy gladiator sandals and you were in so much pain, I mean rightfully so, and again I think you were like seven or eight and then we went into my room and there was a guitar and you picked up the guitar and just started making a, a melody that was like, my cousin kicked me in the face, she sucks, I'm so mad at her. And just for like an hour, just making up a song about how mad you were at me for kicking you in the face. <laughs> and you've just always been so creative like that and, and goofy, you know? A favorite memory, the whole San Diego trip summed up, but honestly, even, even beating out the strip club would be the drive up and Yumi and Lacey I just feel like we connected so much more on that drive up and I got to see that unforgiving side of yourself that's just true and I really appreciate the fact that you were able to share that with me. From all the awful things we had to go through at Bel Air to traveling all over California there is not a lack of moments I treasure with Serenity, but I think the most meaningful memory to me happened when we first started being friends, and she probably doesn't even remember this, but I was going through it a little bit, a little rough patch in my life, but then Serenity, she realized that, and she's like, you should come to the drive-in movies with me and my friend. I think it'll be so much fun. It's like, I don't know. Uh, whatever I said, stupid excuses. And she's like, no, I'm gonna come pick you up from your house. 
like we're gonna drive you, we're gonna buy, like it's gonna be so much fun. And it was the first time in a really long time that someone had gone way out of their way to do something, just like a small act of kindness for me. And I was really taken back by it. And it's something I still think about and appreciate to this day, so. My favorite memory would definitely be when I had the party at my house and you like bonded with every single one of my friends from home. And by the end of the night, you and my best friend were like drunkenly bonding without me. I think my favorite memory is the time we were riding the motorbikes and um, we were making skid marks on the ground by braking and I had happened to brake right in front of her and she didn't even look because she was looking at the skid marks she was making and she just rammed right into me and it was just so funny. I don't, it's a really random memory but we just made so many at that house I really can't even pick. Um, there's times we made forts, a music video, a scary movie which is terrible and um uh yeah makeshift go go kart we went to wyoming together i really can't i just have so many positive memories with her growing up she was like my sister <laughs> my favorite memory with serenity probably was one that was actually kind of recent and there's a million i could have picked from but i think this one's my favorite and that's when uh, she was here in town. We went to go get lunch in Roseville and there was a reptile place across the street. And um, we were just like, let's just go check it out, you know? Let's just, this is to be fun today. And uh, we were walking there and we're like, I wonder if they have turtles or we just, you know, just wanted to see a turtle or something. Anyway, um, we get there and we're looking at like bearded dragons and savannah monitors, big lizards, and we're like, oh, whatever. And then uh, we got introduced to a leopard gecko. And I remember the exact moment she held that thing and how happy she was. And I remember everything about that moment. And I knew the second she held that and the second I saw her face that we needed to get that lizard. So now we have, now we have, his name's Benny and he's about three months old. The thing I appreciate most about Serenity is the way that she encourages other people to be the best versions of themselves. She's always giving people life advice, like literally always. And I sometimes tease her about it, but I think it's such an admirable thing to do that she's always wanting to see other people improve because that's the kind of person that you want in your life and you want to keep them in your life forever. What I appreciate most about you is that you're willing to listen without becoming judgmental about it. You know, I can kind of come and talk to you about anything, whether it's boys or school or whatever. You were the person that told me right off the bat what I needed to know going into Chico and I appreciate it so much. You don't even know. And that I've known you since you were three and just ever since then, I feel like our souls have been connected and we just kind of get each other. And I'm super grateful for that. So one of the things I appreciate about Serenity is um, her love for her friends and her family. Um, she's super kind. She's always thinking of uh, nice things to do for people. Uh, she's always willing to help. And um, yeah, she's just got a huge heart. And I love that about her. You are always very thoughtful. You always remember to call and say hello and check on me and see how I'm doing. And uh, it's just a very loving thing to do and I appreciate it. And one of the things I appreciate most of all is you're very caring and you're very thoughtful. You're just a beautiful person inside and out. What I appreciate the most about Serenity is her big heart. Um, she's caring and always willing to help with anyone and, and drop whatever she's doing to help someone. And Serenity, if I could say anything to you, please don't ever lose that quality. That's such an amazing quality. And um, you're such a beautiful young lady. What I appreciate the most about you 
is how like I can call you up any time of the day and you're always there for me no matter what. I think the thing I appreciate most about Serenity is just her friendship. She's always been such a good friend to me, you know. Uh, we've always had our ups and downs, we've bickered a lot and it's taken us a lot to get to the point where we are now. And you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. I'm so glad that we're friends now. Um, and she's just such a good friend. I couldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anybody else. <laughs> she's just always been there. She's a great, great friend. I'm uh, glad she's in my life. What I appreciate most about Serenity is probably the way she treats other people. And the fact that it doesn't matter if you've known her for years or if you've met her last week that she will give you the shirt off her back to help you. And that's one of my, that's one of my favorite qualities about her. So yeah, happy birthday, girly. Let's make some more crazy memories. Last of all, happy birthday. I love you with all my heart and I consider myself extremely blessed and I thank God for you every day because you are a wonderful young lady. Love you. But I just want you to know how much I love you. Happy birthday and how much I am just proud of you and so grateful to have you in my life and I am a better person for it because you are so amazing and the way you look at the world makes me see the world in a better way too and I love you and I'm always always here for you if you ever need anything you're the butt best you're the butt haha <laughs> no you're the best happy birthday you big 20 year old I love you so yeah happy birthday serenity I hope it's really great and I hope that we have a great time and don't get the coronavirus <laughs> um yeah I'm just glad you picked me over Tessa in third grade and I'm excited to see where our friendship goes because I know you're pretty much going to be my life the rest of my life and yeah have a happy birthday so happy birthday serenity we miss you and we love you happy birthday happy birthday serenity miss you happy birthday serenity I love you have a fun trip be safe uh, remember no drinking you're only 20 not 21 but have fun anyway I love you Happy birthday, Serenity. I hope you have an amazing day. You really deserve it. Cheers. And I just wanted to say happy birthday. We all love you. We're really excited to be with you today. And we got a long, wild ride ahead of us, okay? Love you lots. Serenity. Hi, Serenity. It's your 20th birthday. Woohoo! I'm really excited about that. You're catching up to us. We're gonna wait and until you catch up to us. But love you, Pumpkin. Have a happy birthday and looking forward to many more happy memories. Love you. Bye. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, beautiful. I love you. Happy birthday, Serenity. I just love you so much. I appreciate you so much. And I'm so thankful God has put you in my life because you've really helped me in times of need. You're always there making sure I have fun whether I like it or not. And I sometimes joke around about you being my bad influence friend, but in all honesty, you've been one of the most influential friends and people in my life over the last couple of years. And I don't say it enough, but I'm super appreciative of you and I love you and I hope you have a good birthday and let's have some fun this weekend. All right, dude, I love you. Happy birthday. I just wanna say happy birthday. I'm getting cheery. I just talking about you because I love you so much. And I just wanna say have fun, have a blessed day. And I just pray that the Lord continues to guide you in every step that you take and blesses your every breath. I love you. Happy birthday. With that, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Serenity. Happy birthday to you. I love you. Have a beautiful day.